Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and I'm coming to you with an unbagging. I'm so excited. Now I have an idea of what this is but I'm unsure so I have it pulled up next to me and we will go over it um, shortly. I did want to show you that I did splurge and buy pens from Etsy or not Etsy um, from AliExpress. So last time I showed you, I had bought pens like this. They are little hourglasses at the top. They're just normal pens. I, I do not switch them into diamond painting pens, okay? Um, I did accidentally change this one, and there's a story behind it. I was messing around and stuck my pink pen in here and the metal part stuck and I thought, oh, okay. So then I took this back off, pulled the ink out, hot glued it in, put the ink back in for stability and closed it back up. So even though I'm missing my green pen and I'm missing my blue top, so we'll just put them together like this. <laughs> so that's kind of where I was at with that pen. And then, I have a couple other pens that I randomly have purchased off of AliExpress because I am a pen addict and if they look cute, I want to buy them. So I think I showed you this little llama pen, right? Super cute, um, but I did not change it into a diamond painting pen. I don't do that. You guys are great at those kind of things. I also bought this pen off of AliExpress and it's just a normal regular pen but it has a tape measure on it. I bought a blue and a green one but that way I can do when I do unboxings I can write on my sheets and then I'm trying to think there's a couple other pens I got but I have them at work the one that's gold, silver, or rose gold. I got all three colors with the pineapple on top and they're metal. I like them at work because they're hefty. But then I saw these and they have a crystal diamond on the top and then they twist to right. And then they have the sparkle that matches the rest of the column. And so I got one in teal, one in kind of like an aqua color, and one in a beautiful royal blue. And I'm not going to convert them. This is just me because I'm a pen fanatic. Um, so yeah, I've got these as well that I'm thoroughly enjoying. I will put down below in the description where I got my llama pen, where I got my diamond pens, where I got my tape measure pen and where I got my hourglass pen. So I will try to put those down in the description just in case anybody is interested. They're from multiple different stores. I cannot guarantee they're still in the store. Somebody was um, frustrated, not upset, but just frustrated because she couldn't find these. Um, then just search for pen hourglass and they'll pop up. So use your mind. I know you have them because we're all sitting here diamond painting. So we're smart because we love to diamond paint. But um, I can't do everything for you, but I can do something. So I will send you those links in the description below to enjoy. Okay. So I do not have a review sheet for this because I don't know for sure what it is. But I do have an empty review sheet next to me for another painting. Well, actually the painting I just did. And so I'll read off of that. Okay. So this is wrapped in like the garbage bag. It has a code number and it's a 40 by 30. So yeah, it is. Okay, so. What happened is I got an email from Kate at iloveartshop.com. So the letter I, I'm sorry, 
in. I don't have my glasses. Inloveartshop.com. I N L O V E A R T S H O P dot com. And she asked me if I would do a review of one of their diamond paintings. And I said, sure. So, this is normally just under $15, but I did get a discount. And you got the normal green boat, some plastic baggies, a nice size wax, and a single placer. And it looks like the flat, I don't know, that's supposed to be a three placer. I've never seen the flat ones before. Maybe that's a flat? I don't know, I'll have to look into it. Different type of placer. Okay, it is a round. It's 27 colors, and it's that woman in red with the umbrella. So I think you can tell from a distance. And it looks like it has a lot of confetti over here, but there's some nice color blocking. Okay, and over here it has the colors and it's mostly symbol, well, it's about 50% symbols, 50% letters, and then it has the DMC codes, they're in order. Okay, so it's a 30 by 40 and then let's measure this to see. So width-wise, it's just under, well, it's 24. And length-wise, it's 34. So if you go from blue line to blue line, it's just under 40. And blue line to blue line, it's 29 and a half. So they go by the actual canvas size versus the drill size. The clear plastic hangs over here, but um, I do like that it's clear plastic. The glue is nice and sticky. I don't see any bubbles. It was somewhat folded. It was wrapped around the diamonds, however, or the drills, but there's not too much bend to it that'll flatten out pretty easily once you get diamond painting so there's no creases or wrinkles just a shadowing of them right and this one i liked but not loved enough to purchase so it was nice to have a discount so i wasn't And they have a pretty good selection. And they have some that are not, that I haven't seen. Oh, I should turn this over so you can see. They do not have an inventory sheet. So if you are watching Kate, that would be something to include because you did not tell us on the canvas how many diamonds we're supposed to have. So we could at least know that we had the colors, but like this 498, I have two of so far. There could be more. Um, but this is mostly what you would call autumn colors, right? Colors that, of the falling leaves. I do like their packaging that it has the white strip with the number on it. That's really nice. Good job. And I'm just talking to you while I'm doing this. I don't even know why I'm doing it because I can't really this is kind of a, this I think is the umbrella, the purples, it is round. By looking at it, everything's moving really well inside. It doesn't look like they're static. It looks like it's really high quality. Don't know if you can tell from this camera. I have it sitting really far up. I'm not even going to try. But there's not any trash in here. And it looks, I mean, I'm very impressed by the actual drills themselves. So I love art, good job. Very excited about what I see with the drills. It's nice to have so many bright colors. They're vibrant, they're not, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? It's Friday. I should not be doing these on a Friday because my brain is not working. Um, I don't see any 310s. I don't think we need any, but I didn't double check closely. But yeah, these colors are really nice if you guys are seeing them. They're beautiful. There's a lot of them. So I'm going to go down the list. So the design is, you know, woman with umbrella. What I like is it's not rain, it's leaves. And it's not a custom, it's round. It is full coverage. It's from um, I Love Art Shop. Dot com. Trying to figure out how to get there. And um, they offer small and large paintings. I didn't see if they only offered round. I know this one came in round. I can't remember. Um, trying to see. It's not popping up on my iPad, but I've been having internet problems, so it could be that issue. Um, the price, this one was just under $15. I think it was like $14.80 or something like that. It um, was free shipping. It took roughly just under two weeks to get here. It was like 12 days and so canvas quality I'm gonna give it a you know 0.75 it's just your normal canvas um, the reason I don't give it a full star is because I have to allow room for like a diamond art club or a diamond dots who just takes that extra step um, drills Quantity, packaging, readable. I'm just going to take for granted that I have them all here. Um, if I don't, in the post review, it'll get docked. So I'm going to give it a one. Shipping length of time, it was under 21 days, so I give it a one. Advertising of the product, yep, it is a 30 by 40. Um, if they go by canvas size, it's dead on, so I have to give it to them because there's no across the board requirement in the Diamond Art Club world. Um, advertising of the product, we just said that. Overall impression, would I buy it again? Yes, I would. So, this gets a 4.75 stars. That's pretty much perfect unless you have an above par canvas. So great job, Kate, at um, in, inloveartshop.com. I look forward to working on this beautiful woman who is under an umbrella as the leaves fall. So this will be a nice project for the bedroom or in between. The symbol clarity is super clear. Um, yeah, even these small little percent signs that should be blurry are not blurry. Um, I can see everything. The only thing, but it's completely different colors, is they have um, a legit print percent sign, like with the little circles that have a stencil taken out, the middle taken out, and then they also have a divide sign with the two little dots. But one is yellow and one is red, so that's pretty easy to differentiate. So yeah, everything else looks really good. They do have a plus sign and a star sign that are both red. So I'll definitely need to have my glasses on or pay attention because if I'm talking or I'm on autopilot, I may accidentally confuse those. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to hearing from you, seeing your beautiful artwork. And until next time, be blessed.